Mr. Butterman, hello. Pay no attention to those sounds. Please don't. I don't want you to pay attention. Ducks. Come on, man. No more music for you. Close your ears. I don't want you listening to this. Anyways, we are playing an early access game. And hopefully you enjoy it. After I find the actual game. There we go. Press the wrong button. Pay no attention to that. It's called Half Sword. Kind of like Exanima, if you know what that is. Yeah, let's, let's like stab some dudes, I guess. It's very loud, hold on. Hello, Fresh. This is Half Sword. It's a physics based sword fighting game. I get some free pants to start with. Little shield. And an axe. Back to Rainbow Six. Now I can't. I'm reformed. I don't play that game anymore. I don't actually play any game. Oh. I think I just cut off his arm with a, sh a shield. I feel like I feel kind of bad about this. Not bad enough to stop, but you know, at least a little bit bad. Shush. Batched. I feel like there's supposed to be someone here. There we go. Right, let's let's take a little peek and see if we can't find someone. Oh. You want some? Right. 
not, not a big fan of the screaming and the crying. I'm actually going to turn my audio down just a little bit of, like, my actual volume. That should be a little bit better, as it looked like it was peaking a little bit. There we go. I am one of the best swordsmen in the world. Flawless, impeccable form. You don't want this. Made him fall over. Please, 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 please stop. There we go. Another foe dispatched. Can I grab that in a better way? I'm not I feel like holding it with like the pointy end. I think it should be held the other way. Does it look awful on stream or am I seeing things? Whoa. Ow. Do you know who you're messing with? Ow. Help. Help. I need I'm getting hoed. No. Ow. Stop. Please. I got hoed. But I did get 280 points. It should give me a little bit of better loot. Or it'll give me just a couple of barrels. Let's take a look. Is that a paddle? Is that a... It's a shovel. <laughs> shovel and a barrel lid. I am the most powerful warrior. I think I take the axe over the shovel. Those to, oh, oh, my worst nightmare. I was testing this game earlier. And oh, I spilled his guts out. But I was testing the game earlier and it gave me a spear. And the first thing I did was run straight into somebody and get the spear lodged in his throat. And then he tried to attack me while gurgling. And it was pretty awful. I'm not going to say that he didn't deserve it. A whacking paddle. Now this is the perfect weapon. It turned around. I'm not sure where anyone is. Oh, I was not looking. Want to get paddled? I'm really not liking that. He's still alive, too. Stop. 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 Please. Alright. 
I think he's gone. Ooh, a little scythe. Table. <gasps> Free pants. Yeah. And another knife. Let's go. Chest. Uh, a trick. <laughs> I'm gonna get candlesticked. Oh. Ow! <laughs> no! Please don't do it. Oh. Ow. I'm kidding my brain. Run. Wake up, man. Wake up. <laughs> Please. Come on, get up. No. This is my new life. Trapped. It doesn't have the reach to hit me. Oh. Oh. That's my arm broken. He's sitting on my head as he swings and hits me. Surely I'm able to get up. Surely. I think I'm getting out of that one. Easy 295 points, though. My character spawned floating. They have no idea who they're about to mess with. Funny shirt and an axe. Peace. There we go. They've messed with me too many times now. Ah, you thought you got the drop on me, huh? A shoe. Excellent. My clown costume is almost complete. Our shoes. I don't want those. Keep pressing C to crouch, which is actually the uh, camera button. Ow. You don't want this. <laughs> I want my guy to swing better. There we go. Another foe dispatched easily. Or funny clown shoes. Not a big fan of this loot that I'm getting right now. Ah, oh, this is more like it. Funny barrels, a shovel. I'm about to get owned by a guy with a shovel. Apparently not. He's the one that's about to get owned. He's trying to run away from me. Look at that. Ants. Finally. Got my funny clown suit on. <laughs> A 
biggest foe. Candlestick guy. At least he was before I just removed his throat. Give me the funny hat, please. Yes. Yes. I'm perfect. See, what's this? Ah, my pitchfork. I will walk towards you menacingly. Ow. I'm too fast. I don't have the turning radius. He's got me in like a Tai Chi leg lock. Oh. Uh oh. My bad. Hey, what's this? Chest. I knew it. Yeah. Ow. Another foe easily dispatched. A reward for doing so? Funny shoes. Ow. <laughs> that is awful. I know you can get like armor and stuff, at least from the screenshots, that's what it looked like. So you can get like full knight armor. Pretty excited to try and find that. Come back here, you. You must think you're gonna escape or something. I felt kind of bad about that one, <laughs> chasing him down like that. Not bad enough to stop, obviously, but it's somewhat bad. Oh, you must think you have a chance. With your funny shovel? Not in a million years. I got you, got you in the lake now. Just wrenching this thing around in his leg. That is awful. Oh, I fell over. <laughs> I tripped. Oh, <laughs> come on. Get up. There we go. Let go. It's mine. Funny paddle. I think I'm going to say no to funny paddle. Wait. What if I become even more powerful? 
The ultimate technique. <laughs> You must have thought you had a chance against the whirlwind. What a fool. Have fun at the gym, Mr. Butterman. Get strong. My brother. You must know it's foolish to face me. Oh, he brought a friend. You must know that you you can't do nothing into this. The flailing banana will always triumph. This is more mental damage than anything. I'm just dealing psychic damage right now. So I mainly wanted to just try this game for a little bit and then I'm going to swap over to probably escape the back rooms afterwards. This game just looked kind of fun so I wanted to give it a little look. It's actually dangerous. This is what I would say if I didn't have the spinning whirlwind technique. And now I get the funny scythe. Ow! <laughs> He's hit me with his final breath. Let's cut that guy in half real quick. <laughs> this weapon's pretty good. Big, big fan of this one. Or funny shoes. I don't even know how I did that. I kept most of that guy apart. This guy. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot going on, so I'll probably give it like another couple of minutes, reset, see what, uh, like how many points I got, what I can get for that, then I'm gonna swap games. Or I will get cleaved in twain immediately. Well, that makes it easy now, I don't have to restart. Almost 1,500 points gets me. A, a sore elbow because I felt it. It gets me a shovel. All right. Fair enough. So maybe it's actually over here. A shovel and some pants. Makes it all worth it. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna swap the games real quick. That's pretty fun. It's just, you know, very, very, very early access. Let's say like 0 0.03 into my PPI. We are going to go into escape the back rooms. Edit my stream title real quick. Back rooms. It 
launched in Steam VR. I'm very glad. Is that real quick? It's loud. There we go. Push to talk. Disabled. I I uh, I know you guys can't see this. Hold on. Can't type. <laughs> I really can't type. Done now. Should fix. There we go. Okay. And back to the game scene. I should say if it found it. There we go. I'm a professional, I promise. Looks like I was dropping some frames in that last game that might have not looked amazing. Thank you for putting up with it. All right, everything looking good on this end. I am assuming yes. Let's do some single player. Uh, Swangus. Swangus. I don't know much about the back rooms, but I do know that I don't know what this place is. That thing doesn't want us to escape. He's got some silly fingers. And he wants us to fix a ladder. All right, it has leaning. Okay, feels odd, but feels all right. Is it just me, or does it look really laggy? No, it's it's not VR. Is it is it like skipping frames on your end? I mean, it, it can be VR, actually. It's just I am not playing it VR. I'm playing it uh, just flat screen. Okay. That's weird. I think it's because I've got so many things open that we're playing the same video. Because I have this, like the game itself, and then I have uh, Twitch open as well as having the actual uh, OBS open. There's some kind of dark zone right there. But I saw a funny letter right here somebody wrote me. That thing, it doesn't want us to escape still. I better find a printer here, or a copy machine, because that's the exact same note a second time. Where is this thing? Hello? Spooky, spooky specter? Mr. Squiggle? Hello? Ah, event. Hey, why, why doesn't my guy lean when I lean? I mean, please. Okay. Not supposed to go in the vent yet, I don't think. As much as I may, as much as I may want to said no. I think it stinks in here. I feel like it would smell really musty. Oh. F is how you interact with things. So I could pick that up and look at it actually.
Hello? Hello? What the heck in heck is this? I can't fit through here. Maybe. I can fit my head in. Mr. Wiggle? Mr. Squiggle guy? Are you in there? Hello? Got the, the sprint button works. Hello? Hello? Is there any squiggly men around? Squiggly creatures? It's him! Uh, wait, no. I saw his fingers. He really is a man made of squiggles. Hmm. Why do you sound like that, though? Hello? Squiggly guy? Hello? Ah, a door. Welcome, what username? How are you doing today? It's locked. Not seeing a whole lot of ladders here. Said that there was supposed to be a ladder to fix, but I am glad that you're doing fantastic. I'm getting run at by a man made of a children's drawing. Made out of lines. Little squiggle guy. And a crazy place is this? I still haven't seen any ladder pieces yet. Hmm. Could it be? The place where I stuck my head through the crack. It's a dead end. I'm not seeing a ladder anywhere. You know, it should be should be a ladder somewhere, right? Unless that poster that's disappeared now lied to me. Maybe it's back in this dark space. But where's the ladder? It's through the dark zone. So there should be the vent there. Yep.
Hello? Halt, who goes there? No! I got a guy. What is this place? What the heck in heck is going on here? What a strange dream I just had. It's almost like some kind of weird squiggle guy was running at me and got me. Now, if only I could find a ladder somewhere. Found it. Now, why can I not unlock this door? The lock is on my side. Is there an unlock door button? There's an inventory? I've got my brain. That's all I am. I don't have a body anymore. Mr. Squiggles, I need us to be cool. I need us to be calm, collected, and I need you to let me get this ladder. All right? All I want is the ladder, and I can get out of your crazy, wacky, crazy place that you've got. After I get out of here, you know, everything, everything can be cool. I don't think you're a bad guy. I think you're probably misunderstood. I don't, I don't even know really what happened to the last guy. I, it looked like he tried to give him a fist bump and then he died. So maybe that was on him. Maybe it was in really unlucky timing and he just happened to have a heart attack. Mr. Squiggles? Mr. Squiggles, you wouldn't happen to be hiding on the other side of this corner, would you? Mr. Squiggles? Wait, did I ever press F on the vent? I don't think I did. I did. Well... There's got to be, like, something here. <laughs> it's him. Ah! Mr. Squiggles, be nice. Be cool, man. Be cool. Be cool. Ah! Oh, he, does, he doesn't even, like, attack me. All he does is just wiggle his arms at me. Well, it's not that way. Maybe it's this way? Mr. Squiggly? This is the same way I just came from. 
Maybe it's not this way. Maybe it's down this way. My character is very out of shape. He is also wearing a big hazmat suit, so probably not super fun to run in. Mr. Squidward. Now, if I was a monster made of squiggles, where would I hide a broken ladder that they then need to? Put back together. I feel like I'm walking in the same areas over and over again. So I guess that is kind of the point of back rooms, like the eerie familiarity of it, right? It might be crept, crept. It might be kept in the Krabby Patty vault. You are right. The door. It's still not open. I'm beginning to think maybe it would be kept behind the locked door. That probably requires a key for some reason, even though it's definitely a thing that I should be able to unlock. Mr. Squiggly? Can I have the key, please? Yeah, where Squidward hid, you are right. Dread. I've seen this corner about a thousand freaking times. Am I supposed to press F on the page and then he won't spawn until I look at it? Apologies. Water break. Did someone just knock? Is that in the game? Hello? Do I have some friends here? Stop it, squiggles. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop, 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 stop. What? Huh? Now, Mr. Squiggles, you wouldn't have been the one knocking right there, would you? Because that would have been totally uncool of you. I think it was. Mr. Squiggles? I am so very lost. I'll be 100% honest with you. 
I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I don't know how I'm supposed to get there. All I see is this disgusting yellow wallpaper. Mr. Squiggles, did you happen to open the vent in the time that I was running away from you? No? Okay, that's cool. Somebody's been here. They drew on the wall with pencil. What's the unlock door button? If I turn that on. Correct. Use item. Show card. Oh. It's March seventh, nineteen ninety one. Apparently. Let's turn that. VHS filter back off. The camera filter. That's pretty cool. I'll leave that on for a little bit. I just pulled out my camcorder and I'm now taking some videos. See if I can catch Mr. Squiggles doing something totally uncool. Like trying to scare the person that's just recording him. Oh no. Mr. Squiggles knocked in that direction. I'm not falling for it a sec. <gasps> it's him. He looks exactly like the drawing. I'm not a big fan of that random long line in the part of his body where his legs meet his torso. I'm not sure what that is, but I, I, I think it might be slightly problematic. No. It's him. I see your hand, dude. You're not very sneaky. Thank you. Oh! He scared me. Genuine Genuine fear. Leave me alone. Don't do it. Get your ankles broken, bozo. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You don't want this. Ah! He got me through the wall. That wasn't fair. Big, big not sure actually what I'm supposed to be doing here. <laughs> I might swap games again. Maybe just one more game swap. Is that is that cool with you guys?
Yeah, hold on. Let me let me look at what I got. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap games one more time. I got some zero C vert. I could play some of that, or possibly uh, jalopy. You guys like some road trips? I think it's jalopy. Let's get some jalopy going. Kind of buggy sometimes. Doesn't exactly work right. Oops. There we go. Said Jalopy, right? Sorry, I just punched my mic. Hopefully, you didn't hear that. Game capture. Got it. There we go. All right. I got some jalopy. So, if you don't know what this game is, basically you're trying to drive from one side of the country to the other. Uh, I'll start. I'll use the tutorial. It's fine. Wake up! Wake up! Huh? Ah, awake. Finally. Uncle Lutfi. What's up? Stay in bed any longer and the day will make fools of us both. Oh, thanks. Got something important to show you. What's that? Just outside. Okay. the heck you got me most of a car a Leica 601 deluxe an engineering legend in the GDR I don't care yes build her an engine wheels doors and clean her so we just need to do everything crap pile behind me if I squint, I'll be able to see it. Ah. Store real quick. Oh. Grabbing the door knocked me off of the pile. There we go. Get the engine. Oh, I know how cars work. It's an engine. Uh, I'm actually, I'm actually just going to skip the tutorial because I don't want to do it. I know how cars work. I'm, I'm basically a professional, so let's go ahead and just uh, do one of these. <gasps> what a wacky crazy dream I had about uncle trying to teach me how to put together a car even though the car is already put together 
He has a quest for me. I'll get to you shortly. Hold on. This. I want this. And I want this. I also want... I want these, and I want maybe two of those. Actually, I think I can't use two of those. I want one of those. We gotta take good care of our car, right guys? Like, we can't. Good morning, Lutfi. Shall we give Journey another try? Yeah, you can come with me. I can't actually take that. Anything else I want? It's June 1990 and our president is made of hexagons. Oh no. I'll be right back. All right, have you guys been behaving? Because if you have, we can let you in the front seat. But if you aren't behaving, you do have to sit in the back. I can ask uncle to move though. Yes, I see the keys. Thank you. Select a route. All right, I want to go 350 kilometers, 350 kilometers or 280 kilometers. I think I'm going to go route three because it's a little less and there's still gas on it. What's that? Oof. Go. Listen to that baby purr. I need to turn the game up a little bit. Just kidding, there is no way to turn the game up. This is Dresden. The Autobahns, this should give us a chance to get to grips with the Leica. Car is silent. Turning the game up. There we go. We, we can hear the car now or no? A little bit maybe? Man, when he was saying it has a max speed of 60, he was not lying. This thing is deadlocked at 60. 
What's the point of even giving us the rest of the speedometer, though? I'm cool. Oh, that got loud. Okay. Maybe that's why the car is so quiet. Because I, uh... The Ooh! Psycho? Once I catch up to you, you're going down. If I ever catch up to you. Come back here, you. I will get you. You know, it's a curious feeling being on the road again after such a long time. All those years in the GDR. I I didn't ask you to talk to me. I'm bringing you along because if the car stops, I need somebody to help me pick it up. I don't care about your story. I'll be completely honest. Uncle or not, you got a weird shirt on and I don't like it. All right, so how about we how about we keep talking to a minimum, all right? I don't, I don't know why I did that. I I felt like I should have Can you stop riding my butt, please? You wanna... Oh. There's some free stuff on the road. You got a problem? Let me do my thing. this the locked box this one can I fit you in here no. I can hold you and I can hold you while I drive no I can't I lied can I actually if I do this is that gonna work The game doesn't really like it, but I can. Why did I do him like that? I feel like I made myself pretty clear. Uncle, again, I didn't ask. I, shush. Thank you. Hey, don't oof at me. You're lucky I got these boxes in my lap that are slowing the car down to 30. Yeah, yeah, just go around. You believe these guys, Uncle. This makes it a little bit easier to see. I gotta be nice to uncle or he's gonna bite my head off with what mouth he doesn't even have skin completely smooth
He is not. He's like, he's like pink. That. Some kind of factory in the distance. We've almost traveled half, half of the way that we need to go. Ah. The I. Do I have to say it again, Uncle? My car is smoking. <laughs> I... I don't know why that could be. Uh, maybe... Maybe I'm just out of fluids. Maybe I need to check on my fluids. Let's see. Surely it's a... It's a fluid issue, right? Like coolant issue. Uh It's It's not a fluid issue as it turns out. It's It's so much worse than a fluid issue. But we should be able to make it home safe. Uncle seems like a cool dude. Give him a chance. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'll maybe I'll give him. Uncle, if you want to talk, you can talk. I'm sorry for being so mean. But really, if he talks again, I'm going to hit him with this box that has a lock on it. Uncle, it's your fault our car is falling apart. I hope you know that. You stressed me out and I had to hit that guy. It is. Traveled 230 kilometers already. If I didn't do him like that, he might have helped me. Can you pay attention to the road? Please. Did, in fact, practically overnight. Can I go to Tank Still? What if I just go this way? I'm just going to take this exit and see where it takes us, Uncle. I live free. Live on the road. Ah. Uh. Very quickly losing speed on the road. Oh, there's a gas station this way. Oh. <laughs> I'm out of fuel. Stop. The moon. The moon. Ten meters this way. Twenty four hour gas station. A buck a liter. Tires available for purchase. Right. Oh. I just got an achievement for running out of fuel, so it's a, a good thing that we stopped by here. Uh, 
Turn off, please. Turn off, please. Turn off, please. Ah. Hello. I like a little lost. Is that how you greet all your customers? Pick what I need and place it. Find a pay using my wallet. What if I look in this real quick? What's in here? Textiles. Can I sell you this? I can. Would you like some free textiles? By free, I of course mean not free. You're actually paying me for them. Much for a crowbar. $25. If I do that, and I go grab my money. Got excited that I could talk. Yeah. I have a hundred bucks. Yo. I'm rich. Right, here you go. Give me this. And... Medicine. I just made a profit, basically. Twenty-seven dollars. Whoops. Look at that up to a hundred and sixteen dollars. Let's go. Now I just need to fill her up with fuel. Find a spot for this crowbar. I found a spot for the crowbar. Oh, it's the fuel tank on this bad boy. Can you stop being it so in the way? Now, if I was the fuel tank of this car, where would I be? Maybe in the lid. It is in the lid. All right. If I do that, and then I pour oil in there. That should get me a good fuel to oil mix, right? If I drop this now, I can fill up the rest of the way. One more dose of this. Optimal. Hey, do you want to buy my empty can? Sorry, are you going to charge me $9 for that? It's empty. I should probably buy another one of these. You relax, please. And Pickle Tickle, I'm your biggest fan. Thanks. That means a lot. I'm your biggest fan, too. Let's 
Now my car isn't falling apart. Yay. We're almost back to square one of the journey. I pressed the wrong button. Stop. Stop. Let's go back onto the road, shall we? You guys want a little bit more music? I give you a little more music. I feel like you guys want a little more music. Back to Dresden. There's Dresden ahead. Let's head to the motel. Cross the border tomorrow. Okay. This game is called Jalopy. Actually, did I fix the thing? I did not. I need to fix the thing. Hold up. Thank you for reminding me. I didn't actually change the stream title. It's this motel. There's a store there. Is this the motel? No. Okay, I guess that is the motel. Hold on. It's fine to reverse back through intersections like that. Perfect. I did park outside the motel. What are you talking about? Am I not parked outside the motel? Cool. Can't move. I have to re I have to restart. I got soft locked. Oh man. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that because we get to do that again. Hope you're excited. What the? I just got a bunch of free stuff. You're telling me I can't fit more fuel right there? I feel like that's baloney. Okay. Uncle. Shall we go? My mouse disappeared. I think I, I, think I caused an issue when I, when I tabbed out like that.
I have to restart the game. Hold on. One sec. Here we go. All right, let's get let's get back into it. Time to drive again, chat. My car all loaded up. Sure isn't. Grab this. Let's grab this. All right, Uncle. Let's go on a wonderful adventure. I know where the keys are. I know where the map is. So the goal of this game is to drive from up here down to, like, you're basically driving across Eastern Europe uh, because the Berlin Wall just fell and you're, like, escaping East Berlin or whatever, East Germany. I think I'm going to go for the 280 kilometers with the nice roads. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty nice game. I like it. Uh, my windshield's already dirty. Should have cleaned that. <laughs> Let's go towards Dresden. Traveling for the autobahns gives us a chance to get to grips with the car. Yes, you said this before. You don't remember. Get some more tunes. Ah, my car is already falling apart. Wonderful. this guy doing it's good to be on the road again such a long time since I traveled out of East Berlin even longer leaving East Germany look what you did uncle you'd better uh, slow down this car takes a while to get up to speed and I'm not moving over uh-uh, 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 yeah, they thought, yeah, let's keep our eye on them, this will help me get up to speed, though, stuff let's go uncle if you'll excuse me yoink there 
Never mind. I have to do this the old fashioned way. To the road, bring you up to speed on how it works. Travelers can only call themselves such if they remain in motion. Must learn to live off the fruits of the road presents us. I I picked up a box already, Uncle. I have I have fruit right here. You should learn to pay attention there, uh you old bag. This car really isn't that good, Uncle. Here we go. Now we're getting up to speed. <laughs> A 24 Stunden Grofnet. Very nice. Stop, stop. Actually, if this is. Yeah, I should have a crowbar already. Let's see what kind of treasures the road has given us. Hello, I have stuff for you. Yes, I know about canceling the transaction, thank you. But also, would you like some... Wine? $38? Very, very nice. Uncle, I need my wallet, please. I have some wine for you. I didn't mean to do that. I have some wine for you. I would like another engine repair kit, please. $23? Easy money. My car decided that it was going to start smoking. Let's get some more uh, fuel in here. Uh, I go buy some oil real quick. Optimal, as most things I do are. Alright, Uncle, you ready to keep going on the road? We can maybe make it to Dresden before we run out of fuel again. Can't deal with just the awkward silence. <laughs> I need something to listen to.
fruits of the road come to us in many forms. Abandoned cars, crates on the side of the road. Whatever we need, she will provide. We just need to have faith. I had faith, and look what it got me. It's getting dark, all the street lights just came on. Free stuff. Stop. I need you to stop acknowledging when I crash, please. I will leave you at the side of the road to trade space for more boxes. You understand that, right? Mine. Mine. Oh boy. That looks like medicine in there. All right, I have half my screen now, Chad. I don't I don't really think we need much more than that. Noticing the changes in scenery, we're entering what is known as the Black Triangle. What does that mean? The black triangle? Huh? Because it's really dark here or like Uncle please you can't just leave it at that. Am I going to get got by Mr. Squiggles again? My car's breaking again, chat. Takes about 12 miles for this thing to fall apart. It's held together with duct tape and a dream. Another box. Two boxes. Wait, 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 wait. The road is spoiling me right now. Use my X, my X-ray vision to see what's in these. Well, this one was like medicine, I think. That one was another like one bottle or something. What's in here? Got a problem? Ow! <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Sausages. That's not worth grabbing. Pretty much anything else I can find is worth more than sausage. Can you stop honking, please? That's it. I hope you like driving through an impenetrable, impenetrable wall of sausages. I messed up that word. And I'm having to pepo. I've given myself even less visibility now. That monster just ran over a perfectly good sausage.
Hopefully this time I don't soft lock myself. I don't really know how I did that last time, but this time surely it won't happen. There's Dresden. Head for the motel. Alright, I don't like roundabouts. the motel let's go to the motel go outside front does this count as parking outside front please uncle tell me okay I didn't soft lock myself this time no oh. I turned off my windshield wipers on accident. Please. Just turn off. There we go. I have to be sitting in the car to turn it off. But I left my lights on. So. Alright. Lights. Off. Car. Smoking. Boxes. Outside of the car. Let's grab my wallet and go check in. Hello? I will be staying with you tonight. $20. All right, here you go. 2B on the second floor. Do not disturb the other guests. I would never dream of it. All right, Uncle, one sec. Room service. Room service. Room service. Hello? Oh. Honey. Room service. Thank you. Room service. All right, that's just about the easiest $40 I've ever made in my life. Room service. Room service. Hello? Room service. Hello? Room service? Hello? Room service? Hello? Okay. Room service. Okay. Cool. There we go. Alright. Room service. Hello? Still some time for me to see the town. We visit the market to try to upgrade the car at the Leica dealership. Use the bed when I'm done for the day and we can get some sleep. All right. Good night, uncle. Oops. Uncle, your briefcase. Uncle. Your briefcase. Man, he's out like a light. Anyways, I started snooping. Berlin. Telegram. In response to your request for the acquisition of 1601 for the purpose of transportation for first property to be returned to their country of origin, placed on the date December 2nd, 1986, we now affirm you. Furthermore, we are compelled to remind you that all communication with countries outside the state sphere of influence are thoroughly monitored, and as such, we must ask all comrades to exercise constant vigilance with regard to any delicate information they may find themselves in possession of that we are unable to approve or support this request on the grounds that government vehicles are not to be used in the transportation of private property, especially countries outside of the fraternal socialist observation. Meet socialist group. I'm basically German, uh, so don't really know what that means, but anyways, uncle, I would never snoop. That's very rude of you to even assume that. Let's go sell some stuff. Service. Okay. Hey, 
hey, I did exactly what you told me not to, and I bothered everyone. I just thought you should know. I'm leaving your door open. Uh, up. Stop. Stop. These boxes, stop. Now we turn on the car. And then we grab the boxes. Close this. And now we can drive. park outside of the motel, I am aware. What I need more than that, though, is to sell these random things that I've found. Uncle, how are you talking to me? You're asleep. Hello? I'm here to sell you things, and you don't have a choice. see i have a lot of medicine and i have more medicine drop the crowbar actually That's the easiest, like, 200 or $100 I've ever made. Hopefully this medicine wasn't headed somewhere important. Because it's now getting resold for $155. Actually, go buy that, or go grab that other box real quick and see what that was, too. I think that one had wine in it. I remember being able to see through it properly. Oh, I have another box. It has one bottle of wine. Two hundred big ones for that. That's pretty awesome. What was that? Nothing. My wallet. Thanks. All right. Uh, anyway, goodbye. I might see you tomorrow, but maybe not. Leaving your door open, too. Let's go take a look at the dealership and see what they sell. Probably don't have enough for anything cool, but maybe.
Yes, uncle. I am aware. But also, stop talking to me. You're asleep. <laughs> 25, 30 yards away. Uh oh. Free to look through the catalog. I will. What do you have? Yes. The car. I could get a new engine, actually. Well, these are all just colored. Squash engine? GSK. So is there any difference for these? Not really. Got a new chubby, stocky, stout fuel tank. Or I can get a roof rack. I think I had $300, right? Get a Bugatti? I wish. I'm not, not that rich yet. But the question is, do I spend all of my money buying a roof rack? Yes. I still have $19, good enough. I just can't get gas. It's my new box. A roof rack. There we go. Look at that, looking sick. All right. Uncle, I was very irresponsible. We have $19 now, and I can't open this for the life of me. I can't close the car door. I wish I could get all of it. I can't, though. I've only got $19 left. And my car is currently falling apart. It's okay though. I got like extra fuel and stuff in the car, so I don't I don't really need anything, you know. Everything's going well. Let's go go to bed for the night. You don't happen to want to give me more money, do you? Oh, okay. Hey, did you change your mind about giving me money? No? Okay. Uncle, sleep time. <laughs> Uncle's up already. And he went pee pee and didn't flush. I'm just going to open everything. They want to charge me $20? I right, like that. Hey. Uh, hey, it's time to pay for more... More, uh, more time. Hey, give me money. Oh, okay. I really thought that was going to work. You have a good one. Uncle, did you get in the car, turn the car around, and then get in the passenger seat? Just head to the border and pick a thing before we cross. First, I need to fix the car and fill the car. Is the, the main thing that I'm dealing with there, Uncle. Uh, fix the car. The tires are hurting, too. Uh-oh. All right, so, uh, it's not, not ideal. Good 
think I've got the second bottle of oil. Bit of water in there. I think we're I think we're doing good. Pick a new new route. Need somewhere with fuel, probably this route three. Ah. It seems like it started raining immediately. Well, let's turn those on. The car started smoking immediately. Oh, we're good on fuel for the most part. I got 19 bucks. I'm, I'm sure I'll find a box or something before we get to that uh, gas station on this route. There's the border. All right, what's not allowed? Tobacco. Everything else is allowed, though. All right. Hello? Red papers, please. There you go. Let's see here. Hey, I didn't give you consent to search that. You're lucky you weren't a helmet at the rest. I'd get out there and headbutt you. Thing seems in order. Thanks for wasting my time. <laughs> Bozos. Back on the open road, eh, uncle? Why does it still sound like it's raining if we're in a tunnel? Another roundabout, huh? I think I've made my opinions about these very clear. That was interesting. Ah, be more careful. I won't. We have more borders to deal with on our journey. Be careful what you try to take over the border. If they find illegal goods, I will be fined. But that's why I sell everything, uncle. Uh-oh. Uh, drive to Stervo, go to Hungary. This road sucks. I'm not seeing any boxes. Uncle, I'm really not seeing any boxes. I need something. Oh, oh. Wow. I forgot how many white birch trees were in the country. Quite wonderful to pass them as we drive. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good, I guess. You know? A oh, train. I think the train has anything I can take? Maybe just maybe just take a peek. See if there's any boxes on it.
Hello? Hello? Nah, it's... Goodness me. I made that much dust? Alright, well... Thankfully, there's no one behind me. Whoops. Yep. Who even needs to close their door? Uh... Hey, Uncle, what do we do about this? You didn't tell me the bridge was out. Uncle, this is why I don't like you. You know what? I'll say it. This is why. You're trying to drive me into Hungary. The road's not even fully fixed. It's full of potholes. The bridge is out. There's a train here that's not even running. Like, what are you doing, Uncle? Do I have to cross the train bridge? Because I'm not seeing another way to go, Uncle. I'm not seeing another road. All I see is that one road and a broken bridge. Maybe this is the way. It is the way. What the heck? Uncle, who designed this road? Be more careful. You be more careful. You almost got us killed. Look, you're going the wrong way. Unless we got the gas station here. It's not like it's going to do us much good. We got $19 to our name. Uncle, I got a plan. All right. They can't. They can't close the gate on the door. I'm going to go get something. I'm not going to pay for it, right? I need it, though. Okay. I need you to trust me here, Uncle. What do we need? We need some fuel. Trust me, right, Uncle? Uncle, just be cool. There we go. Uncle, what did I say? You trust me or not? Come on, give me a break. You know, this is my first rodeo. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Hey, what's up? Uh, hey, for some reason, actually... Hey, you should really fix that gate. It's, uh, it's not closing. You know? Like, there's something wrong with that gate. Uh, do I need to pay for that? I'd like to see you make me pay for this. To be quite frank. I do need to be careful, though, because if I knock this out of the way, it's not going to work. Wait. Don't tell me it doesn't let me use it. Well, it wouldn't let me use it, right? Because it's, it's not paid for yet. But once I cross the border with coffee beans, medicine, 
Medicine is what I'm going to cross the border with. Hey, thank you. Again, by the way. You really need to fix that gate. Uh, really should have really thought that through. I could use some, some two-stroke oil, too. Oh, they got, you got wine, too? Give me that wine. Attention. Please return all unpaid goods before attempting to leave. Stealing will not be tolerated. Again, I'm not really seeing how you're in any position to tell me what to do. Sansniant, welcome. I'm currently committing uh, a robbery. But in my defense, they made it really easy. And I feel like it's not my fault. For, like, I, I shouldn't be held accountable if they make it this easy. Anyway, Uncle, you ready to go? Your Honor, it was pretty sick. All right, see you later. Freaking goober. Yeah. Left my trunk open. It's fine though. What's wrong? You're not really talking to me. I should have stole some tires. You're right, Uncle. Ow! There's a thought. <laughs> We've been on the roads for only a short time, but we need to stay on top of tire maintenance. If we get a flat tire, check the car up and repair it with a tire repair kit. Find those at petrol stations. I have a feeling my tire just popped. I have a feeling both of my tires just popped. Alright. Hold on, Uncle. I'm gonna take a peek at what's going on. Zero of three, zero of three. Alright. So here's what I'm thinking. Is. If I take... One tire, that's zero. And I drop it. And I take this tire, put it on there. And then take this tire off I can swap them out one for another and I'll have one good tire on each side and that should be fine right like there should be no issue wait but that tire is zero too uncle I think I might have made a big mistake Surely not. Surely everything's fine, right? Like, I... What do you even need tires for? Swung is the mechanic. Yeah. This was kind of my job for a little bit. Look at that. Easy. I just need to do some sick drifts. I'm almost there. Kind of, I'm 140 away still. <laughs> Traveling at a max of 20. Wait, nobody, nobody tell me what.
Is that going backwards? I'm gonna go this way, because I feel like I might have been going backwards. How long has that been there? Uh. Uncle, <laughs> I have a problem. What is the issue? I mean, like, the engine's still fine-ish. I don't know what the problem is. Oh, I'm out of fuel. Okay, okay. Wait, and these repair kits don't work because I didn't pay for them. Does the fuel work? The fuel works. It's, does the oil work? It does. Okay. So it's just the repair kits that don't work. Uncle. I forgot to close the freaking hatch again. Is this the right way? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Uncle. Going this way. Final answer. It's this direction. Towards the plumes of smoke. Uncle, it's bad out here. Can we just push the car? Like... Okay, please. It. Somebody left a tire on the road. <laughs> he would do that. Well, the. So the issue is that the jalopy isn't the. Like. The ice physics aren't from the car. They're from the fact that I'm using road tires on an off road. Uh off-road like dirt road and for some reason there's oil slicks all over the road and it's raining and I'm currently driving with four flat tires so it's it's bad it's it's not looking good for this road like this trip that's another oil slick right there at least I'm close to the town right guys <laughs> average UK road trip very fair I just have to keep turning myself back to the right direction every three or four seconds it's not that bad guys Come on, come on. Only 70 more miles to go, guys. <laughs> then I can definitely afford new tires, right? It's not cope. I... Uh, I don't know. I think the closest you can get is like a. Or there's not really like a V8. It uses like a two cylinder, two cylinder engine. So the best you can get is like a slightly better two cylinder engine. So it's 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 a bad it's a bad scene. <laughs> Turn the radio volume up, and I'll take the hint. I, I appreciate that, Uncle. I Right now, I have a lot on my plate, though. <laughs> I'm excited to be on the road again. I am, too. I'm not excited about this road. Uh, this road is bad. <gasps> oh. Wait, but... But the road provides. 
The road took my wheels away, but it provided me with four boxes that I can't fit on my roof rack because I filled it up with stolen goods that I'm not going to be able to sell. I don't know what is wrong with this, like, box and stuff, but, you know what, I'm just going to carry these two. It's this way. What's the wine doing? I don't know. I don't know what anything's doing at this point. Uh, it's It's bad. I'm I'm hoping that I can resell these stolen goods. Maybe. But like if not nah, it's it's <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. Come on, just a little bit further. We're almost to the promised land. Come on. Almost, almost there. No, oh, please. Maybe? Is that is that it up ahead? Is it am I almost there? There's a bridge. I think that's the border. How's my field doing? Alright, hold on. It's an actual road, guys. <laughs> they paved this portion of the road. We're saved. The head is Struvo. We're going into Hungary tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm spinning. <laughs> please, please stop. <laughs> Please stop spinning. Come on, come on, come on. Gas station. Gas station. Hey. It's the outer shop. We made it. Chat. It's the promised land. We can sell everything. And surely we'll make enough to fix our car. I have some gifts for you. Uh... Textiles worth zero. Okay. That's that's totally, totally freaking sweet, actually. I'm so glad that that first thing I pulled out is worth zero. Let's sell all this medicine, all the wine. Right, like, you, you want this stuff, right?
wait. Wait, they know. <laughs> wait, how do they know? Do you have a phone back there? I don't see a phone. How do you know? How do you know this is stolen? Uh, it's bad. It's, it's so, so very bad. Maybe there's something in that other box that can save us. We need to check real quick. Oh, in this box too? Surely these are full of things that they're going to buy, right? Surely. <laughs> buy medicine. I do have medicine. I do. And sausages. One dollar sausages. That almost pays for the one thing that I scanned on accident. Chat, we're really doing it. $126, guys, we can really afford. Uh, how much are these? We can really afford new tires. <laughs> it's saved. It's bad, though. I, th I think it. we can all agree it's bad, right? getting it's getting pretty close to eight i think i'm gonna i'm gonna call it uh thank you guys for watching please follow if you would like to uh, i'm gonna be back on sunday at around 5 30 uh for another about two two and a half hour stream i appreciate you guys for coming by thank you for the messages thank you for everything pretty pretty epic of you guys to join me big love big love yeah, I need again, uh you guys are all in the Discord, so you know that you can send me any game recommendations you would like me to play. I am three streams in and already running out of ideas, which is bad, but you know. This one. I like that uh I like that half sword game. That was that was pretty cool. I'd like it to get a little more content in it and then Maybe I'll come back to it once it's like a game instead of a tech demo. I I can't I can't play that game. That's illegal against TOS. And also I would have to own a game like that. Which I don't. So let's keep the slander to a minimum, please. Actually, I will give you guys a little bit of a little bit of music for the end of stream. A little bit, a little bit of tunage. Ah, that's gonna be like another. I'll end at like eight, so we can hang out and talk for a little bit if you guys want. Ace cam soon. Oh no, no, no! I don't know about that. Bet I'm handsome. Oh, you know, I I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm I'm pretty good looking. But it's you know the fact that I do pick my nose constantly. Like I actually play with one hand because my other hand has a finger in my nose at all times. That's why I sound so nasally because I've got it blocked up. And I don't really want to show you guys that, you know. Hope you understand. You 
gotta keep the tunnels clean. That's true. That's what I've been saying. But some people think it's gross, you know? And then honestly, because it's like, if you're keeping the tunnels clean, like, why would you waste that? You know, it's just, just is it maybe a little snack. Could be, could be good. Exactly, it's free. You know, you're just you're just growing them all hours of the day. Why wouldn't you pluck them when they're ripe? It's like owning an orchard. Anyways, chat, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it. Life has been great back in the motherland. Uh, I live in the desert, so it's hot, but it's winter time almost, so it's a little, it's nice. It's like 80 most days, so it's good. I've been going to the gym uh, like an hour to two hours a day and just working out, coming home cleaning, doing this. It's a pretty good gig. Thank you. It was, uh, I had a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Anyways, y'all have a great night. I'll see you guys on Sunday. God bless.